Welcome back to Techie Jack. In this video, we are going to understand the high availability of client access service in Exchange Server with the help of HA Proxy Load Balancer. This means that how client will connect to the Exchange Server in case of any server failure. Let's go to our slide and try to understand it. Make sure that we are just talking about the high availability of the client access, not about the mailbox databases. I will show you demo later. Let's understand this first. If we see this picture, this is a normal scenario when we do not have any load balancer. We have internet and public IP is installed on the router connected with the LAN and we have two exchange server EX01 and EX02 with these respective IP addresses. If you have a local user inside and they want to connect to the exchange, either they can connect to the EX01 or EX02. If you have a DNS entry for your namespace, like same namespace that is for example mail.techiejack.net and they both are pointing to EX01 and EX02, so there will be no issue from the inside. But when somebody is trying to access the server from the outside, it can only access the one server. Why? Because you have an option to forward the port 443 or 25 to only a one IP. Either you can point it to the EX01 or either you can point it to the EX02. In this situation, if you point it to the EX01 and if some reasons, if this server EX01 goes down, then the client connecting the exchange server from the outside, they will not be able to connect to their mailboxes with the OWA or even with the Outlook. If this happens in your organization, in this case, either you have to manually point the port 443 and 25 to the different server and then it will start working. And by the meantime, you can make your EX01 up. But this needs a manual input. You never know like when your server is going to fail. So right now we are not talking about the DAG and mailbox database availability. We are just talking about the accessing the server. Like if one server fails, you can be redirected to the another server automatically. In this approach, we have to do it manually. But if we introduce the HA proxy load balancer, that can resolve over this problem and it can automatically handle this situation. Let's see that. Again, we have the almost same scenario with the public IP installed on the router and now this time the port 443 or 25 or any other related port to the exchange has been forwarded to the HA proxy and they have their respective IPs like it is on 33 EX01 105 and EX02 is 103. What is happening here? We are forwarding port 443 and 25 to our HA proxy. It will handle our port forwarding now. For example, if our this exchange server get fails, it will sense the failure of exchange 01 and will help the user to connect with the EX02 machine automatically. And if vice versa happens, like if this server fails, it will connect the user with a different exchange server that is EX01. It will always try to connect with the healthy server. So this is the work of this HA proxy. Or if both the servers are perfectly fine and working fine, it can balance the load between two servers by using the DNS round robin. For example, first five requests go to the exchange 01 and then next five requests go to the exchange 02 or whatever the process that DNS round robin follows, it will process the request according to that. Let's go to the server and see how it is working in the real environment. So friends, right now I am on a hypervisor. I have these machines like my DC EX01 that is exchange one with the IP 105 and exchange two. And here this is a Ubuntu 24.04 and the IP is 33. I have installed the HA proxy on this. We will see that later how we can install it or how we can configure that. That is a different part. But first of all, I just want to show you how it works. So this is my servers. And if we go to the exchange one, this is my exchange one. I want to show you that just notice this thing. This user wick is not on a DB01. It is on the different mailbox. And this mailbox is inside the another server that we have a two servers that database. If you see here, 
this database is on ex02 db01 in on ex01 so the wic user lie inside this that means it is lying inside ex02 remember this thing we will check this thing later and also i want to show you one thing more i have not installed the certificate on ex02 right now just to show you something this is the valid certificate we have in ex01 in ex02 we don't have any valid third party certificate also i would like to show you the ha proxy server this is the ha proxy server and it is checking for the ex01 and ex02 it found it healthy right now right now my ha proxy is working fine i will try to log in from the outside of my network so right now we are on our two browser and if i type here url of my exchange mail.techijack.net/ova and same i will type here as well so you can see here if i hit enter now this query goes to the ex01 that has a valid ssl certificate if we see here secure connection certificate is valid it has a certificate that is mail.techijack.net the same url we have and this time it went to the ex02 how did i identify it if we go to the certificate here you can see the common name here is ex02 and here the common name is mail.techijack.net so one time it goes to the mail.techijack.net that is ex01 and the second time it goes to the ex02 see the thing is that if i try to continue it here you can see it goes to the healthy server now and if i try to log in with my email though it connected with the ex02 but it redirected to the healthy server so this is my mailbox and same way here we can log in here as well each time we will refresh it sometime it will go to now you can see it again get connected with the ex02 this time i just did not install the certificate to show you this because if there will be a certificate on both the server we will not be able to identify that on which server we are getting connected so this is the easiest way to show you that we are getting connected one by one to both the server like ex01 and ex02 now i want to show you something different like if we go and advance and proceed again it will redirect to the healthy server which has a proper certificate now the user wick i told you that that has a mailbox on the another server so if i try to log in with the wick user and try to sign in because right now it's getting connected with the ex01 it is lying inside the second server that is ex02 but still we have the inbox ready here because if you connect any of the server like if the client is connected any of the server for example if i get connected with the ex01 and i have a mailbox on ex02 exchange will proxy the things in a backend and user will have the access of their mailbox it's no matter like if you have a mailbox on ex02 then you have to connect with the ex02 itself you can connect with any exchange and it will proxy you automatically to access the mailbox if the ex02 is not working at that time there will be a failure because right now the both server are working and it can access the mailbox from the ex02 though the client mailbox is connected through the ex01 he is able to access the mailbox on the secure link let me try to sign out from here i will try to pause the exchange to now and let's see what happens so we'll go to our main hypervisor server and let's try to pause the exchange to here let me pause it the exchange is paused now and let's try to log in with the same user and let's see this time what happens though it's connected to the ex01 the last time it allow us to log in to the mailbox and it proxied us to the ex02 but now the ex02 is not there and we are trying to sign in so at this time there will be a failure you can see we have a failure that this page isn't working currently unable to handle the request let me resume it and if i try to refresh it here now you can see we are logged in successfully so this is the matter for only the client access now here we have a load balancer and high availability of the client access like a user can access both the servers but still we are not highly available on the databases because if the database is only lying into the any particular exchange and it is down we will have the problem so to overcome with this solution as well 
if we have a load balancer and if we have a DAC configured there and we have a databases on both the exchange like EX01 and EX02. Now either of the exchange get connected and if we have a proper certificate on both the server that is the case in the production environment it is recommended to have a SSL on each of the exchange this time it was just to show you but if we install a SSL certificate on all the exchange server and we configure the DAG as we have a two exchange server we can configure the DAG once the DAG is there load balancer is there SSL is there there will be a high availability to the mailbox databases and to the client access service as well also HA proxy provide you the real time stats that refresh in interval of 10 seconds. You can see the stats here maximum session total time it refreshes in every 10 seconds. So this is for the HTTP server SMTP inbound backend you can see the stats are there. So if you see the green green things that means everything is working fine and in the balanced condition. Also guys if you want to understand the complete high availability solution for exchange enterprise level feel free to contact on info at techiejack.com we can schedule a session with multiple people we can try to understand it in a more depth in our upcoming videos you will see the setup and configure process of this HA proxy layer 4 load balancer from the scratch such as installing and configuring the Ubuntu for HA proxy setup and achieving this goal I hope you found the video informative let's meet in a next video thanks for watching if you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.